Good Saturday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty and all you Rangers. How you doing this morning? You probably have a little hangover. <laughs> Not really. I don't do that anymore. I mean, I, I don't drink enough for that. I did years ago, but not anymore. Can't handle it. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now just went right on by. So, if there's anything you want to do, I suggest you get busy doing it, or it ain't ever going to get done. This is September the 2nd already. Yeah, I'll be heading back to Texas. Pretty soon, the yellow rose of Texas. Do, 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 do. Anyway, yeah, we'll be heading back here pretty soon. Next, uh, within the next two weeks for sure, I think. Uh, what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. And whenever you can, say hello to Romeo. <laughs> the only dog in the world that doesn't have to be fed, pet, whatever. You know, he's, he's what he is. <clears throat> So, what else have we got here? Yeah, I almost screwed up uh, Beer 30 yesterday. I could not get... I was ready to go live, and it just went... Whoosh, everything went south. But we overcame. We persevered. Uh, anyway, Life with Eclectic Amy. Two of them here. You are such a handsome man, Rusty. Beautiful, bright smile also. Yeah, both teeth, upper and lower. Yeah, thank you. You might want to have your glasses checked. Your prescription. Anyway, cat in a hat. If you want to find out where something is, you got to find out where it ain't. Same person, when I get back to Cloudcroft and Mayhill, I am staying there permanently. She's got a long comment, but I understand it's time to get back to your home, your roots. So whatever you enjoy. She says she like, likes winters and all that stuff. Yeah, go visit your family in uh, El Paso. Good for you. Margaret... O'Hara <clears throat> on the tiny home Home Depot. Is this is this legal home? Meaning, can you live in this? Sure. You just you know just have to check with the city if it's in the city or county if it's in the county. I'm I'm sure there's hundreds of people living in them. Sued. It says, can you can you take please us by your first place with the beautiful view? You mean the one I had here? In this area? No, I, well, I could, but there's some people that live there now. Karen Van Gogh. Rusty, I liked your beer third even when you didn't live stream. Maybe for your sanity, you should go back the old way. Either way, you're fun to watch. Uh, well, I don't know. I've kind of gotten the habit of it now. It's just 30 minutes of me reading comments, basically, and or responding to them. And it's just something to do. It just It's just a different... It adds a little variety. You know, we got comment call, driving videos beer 30 and whatever else I throw in and that's the way it'll be. <clears throat> Catherine Chase, I guess, if this is on the tiny home, if it had plumbing and electrical, it would be fantastic. Uh, well, you, you, you uh, either got to hire somebody or do it yourself. Mary Cooper on beer 30, cool beer 30 replay. Some good Western authors I've read are Louis L'Amour, Zane Gray, and Elmer Kelton. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you. Yeah. Uh, was it a replay? Huh. No, it wasn't. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm. It's showing a picture from another Beer 30 Sanity session. I don't know, man. Ain't much telling what I did. Rusty, I'm a new subscriber. This is Michael Kirby. Thank you for subscribing. This came up in my suggestions today, even though it's a year old. That's out in yeah, Davis Mountains Resort near Fort Davis, Texas. <clears throat> uh, it says this, uh, probably because I've been looking at a couple of parcels of acreage on Tomahawk. Fifth generation Texas. I've been going out to Fort Davis for at least 20 years, ever since my sister and I went on a tent camping trip to the state park uh yeah it's a it that's a interesting area out there you know some people like it he's got a hell of a long comment here i'll read this one later but uh whatever you know you you do what you do you know indian lodge is supreme place to stay yeah it's a nice place you're, you're right but ambrosia says winter 2020 there was snow two feet everywhere in texas and we were five minutes from no power. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, remember, I was down on the coast, as I recall, Rockport, I think. Ken PA, Ken Paul, Kempa. Rusty could open up a new business, R4, Rusty's RV Rattle Repair. <laughs> yeah, you got more of that coming today. Yeah, no kidding. James Jackson. I see you have a baby bump. When are you due? D when are you due? D E W. I don't know, James Jackson. Uh I, I you know, I, it's not it's just I got a little belly on me and, and you'll find that most older men do, you know. Because uh, men, men store fat around their waistline and women store it in their hips and thighs. That's the difference. Uh Nathan says, Rusty, I, I, I like the 20 mile per gallon of the Rise Great RV for a single traveler with much nicer than 9 or 10 miles a gallon. Yeah, I know, 10 in the Class C. So I've improved my gas mileage in my camper by 100% and uh, at a time when gasoline prices are going up. But compared to the Chevy Bolt EV, it's much more expensive. <clears throat> but anyway, overall, we're doing all right. Uh, anyway, rainstorm, good beer 30, enjoy it very much. There is no age limit, limited on anything, but the body limitations always there. That's right. And you got to learn them as you get older because you'll try something that you did when you were in your 20s and you're in your 70s and it ain't going to work. Alvin Masseau, great video call. Thank you, beer 30. Uh, BJ Hiss, s -s -s. just to note, that 16K is just for the shed. Oh, that's on the tiny home. They must be promoting it again. <clears throat> this person's name is Where Are the Lights? Glad you finally made it. My Friday is not complete without Beer 30 Sanity Session. Have a wonderful holiday weekend from Stephanie in Palm Beach, Florida. Well, hello, Stephanie. Enjoy your day and weekend. Bowman says, what happened to the jokes? <clears throat> well, I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know that many jokes. You know, and I'm not a real comedian anyway. You know, I mean, you, there's probably some people on YouTube that tell jokes. Janice Peck, Oklahoma here. Okay, good, Oklahoma. That was on Beer 30. Henri Codger, uh, I like the terrain there. Love the trees. I'm like a lizard. When it gets hot, I seek the shade. Yeah, well, you should out here because it'll toast you out here. Joy 7 seems I never catch you live. Best wishes for better connections in the future. Yeah, well, it's going to be what it is. I, you know, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> spend a lot of money. That's out because I don't need to. You know, Verizon works pr great most of the time. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then that, I tried, I got T-Mobile yesterday. And it didn't work. It was a mess. Anyway, R Hunt. Hello, first time to watch this. Wishing the best for you. That was on Beer 30. Thank you. Scotty Thompson, Good, cool video talk. Cool video talk tech beer 30 live stream rusty. Thank you, Scotty, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Pop, pop shop kid. Okay. On uh, Deming, New Mexico. Thanks, Rusty. Nice drive along. And as for McDonald's restaurant, tasty grease and fried foods. My guess on your mention of the McDonald's. I, I, I don't go to McDonald's. I mean, a, a, a millions of people do, but I just don't care about that. Debbie Weckler, that's a very pretty drive. It looks somewhat like the ride I took in Colorado. I like the name B. Thanks for the video. Yeah, just plain old B. Can't miss that, can you? A, B. You know what I mean? Sue Martinez, uh, I totally agree with you with your enjoyment of our tourists who enjoy our hometowns here. The Cloud Cross School that you pointed out has a nice, has an ice skating rink across the street in the winter, of course, the highway department keeps the snow plowed really quickly. Well, that's good to know, even though I don't plan on staying here in the winters. Anyway, <clears throat> same person. Love our New Mexico mountains. You are sharing with so many people, and they obviously love the views. Yeah, well, it's pretty here. It's just it's a pretty place to be. We'll do three more, and then we'll shut her down because it may take forever to upload. It may go up really quick, and then again, it may not go up for five hours. Anyway, Mike says, don't rush back. It's still over 100 near Austin. They have the RV show at Dell Diamond on 13th, 15th of October. I remember you usually go to them. Uh, I haven't been to that one in a long time because I'm a long way from Dell Diamond near Round Rock now. Uh, Richard, Ro Richard, Richard Ross. 
what is the speed limit you keep referring to? I don't know. It's the speed limit posted on the highway, I guess. J. Joy 7, I like the name you've given the Class B. She seems to be an awesome vehicle. Yeah, just call her B. Hello, B. Uh, let's see here. We got anybody. Al Fur, thumbs up to you. Uh, 1951 Roy, what is the brand name T-shirt you buy from Amazon? I'm looking for a comfortable shirt. Gildan. Yep, I get Gildan. Most, when I can find them, I get Gildan 2X large. Why? Because I like them baggy. <clears throat> anyway, what else? This person's name is Tortilla. It's still too damn hot here in Texas. We've had a few nice mornings, but still hit 100 plus the same day. No, I hear you. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Drink plenty of water. You know, it'll keep you from eating so much. and lot. It's also good for you. Uh, take deep breaths. You know, breathe in, breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, lowers your blood pressure. You know, to exercise your body, stretch, walk, all that stuff. Stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. And with that in mind, go enjoy your breakfast and enjoy your long weekend. Enjoy your life. And we'll chat again later and then tomorrow morning also. Yeah, I don't forget comment call or I mean, I don't miss it. Well, I ain't going to say anything because I'll probably get up tomorrow and it won't work. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.